So why is recursion such a powerful technique to use on trees? So there's, there's two reasons for this. One reason is because iterative approaches on trees are extremely awkward. Um, but the other reason is, um, there, you know, one of the things we've seen about recursion is that it, it, it works when there is a relationship between an object and part of itself. Recursion itself, the word means that an object is composed from pieces of itself. Um, now, when we talk about recursion in trees, one of the things I want you to notice with this binary tree is that I can split it up in a way that ensures that each part of it is also a binary tree. So let's look at how this works. So let's imagine I start at the top. I've got two, the, the root node one has two subtrees, one to the left, one to the right. Um, if I split those off separately, I have a tree. Here's a tree. There's a tree rooted at the node three that descends from three and contains, in this case, four nodes. The nodes four is a direct child, and then four has two children, in eight as its right child, and six as its left child. Um, there's also, a tr and, and I can continue the same thing. So I can say, okay, well, three, let's say the tree rooted at three actually consists of a smaller tree rooted at four, um, and so on and so on. So essentially, every subtree of this larger tree, if I break it up carefully, is also itself a tree. And so I can use this feature of trees, this recurrence relationship. We saw when we defined our binary tree class that the class itself depends on itself. So a binary tree contains references to other binary trees. So it's literally a recursive data structure. Um, and so it's this feature of trees that's going to allow us to work with them extremely nicely using recursion. Because a lot of times what we'll do in recursion is to make the problem smaller on a tree, we'll look at, at a particular node, the right subtree and the left subtree. So we'll think about the entire tree as consisting of three parts, the current node, the right subtree, and the left subtree. The right subtree and the left subtree are both trees, but they're also trees that are guaranteed to be smaller than the tree that I met. And so that works out nicely for our recursive algorithm.